So I tested making TC feline with my mom's four cats and I used beef and their beef liver supplement. So it was really easy to make and all of the cats really liked it. This is the easiest way to make homemade cat food at home because you just use the premix, water and meat that you can get at the grocery store or the farmer's market. So this one is called plus beef liver. So that means that it includes a source of beef liver. So you do not have to add your own source of liver. You would add boneless meat, water, and then the egg yolks are optional. Definitely recommend it. TC Feline has the one called Original. That one you would have to add fresh liver to. And then there's another one like this, but it's chicken liver instead of beef liver. So that one would be the same as this, just boneless meat and then the egg yolks and the water. So I would suggest making the food without the egg yolks first. Let your cat get used to the supplements, transition to it slowly. Then in the future, once your cat's adjusted to it and shows that he likes it, then you can add the egg yolks. Definitely want to add the egg yolks because that's another source of a lot of nutrients, but it's also adding another whole food to the premix. So the recipe is on the back. So what you would do is get a quarter of a cup of the premix powder and a big bowl, add half a cup to one cup of cold water. So it really depends on the type of meat that you're using and what your cat prefers. If your cat likes a superior mix, use more water. Maybe your cat needs a little bit more moisture, use more water. I used a half a cup of water with this beef and it came out great. You would whisk and then add the two pounds of meat without bone and then you can portion it out. I put it into two separate freezer bags. My mom has four cats, so that's easy to portion and serve just from the one pound and one pound. Well, it would be, it would come out to a little bit more because of the powder and water, but you know what I mean. So for the ingredients, we have the bovine bone that's going to provide calcium, and then we have the gelatin, and that kind of mimics the cat eating the prey's skin in the wild. It is pork based most gelatin is so if you don't want to have pork then this supplement isn't for you but that's going to mimic kind of like the cat eating the skin and it also helps keep everything together so it's like a natural binder for the premix and the food to stay together and then this one has the dried beef liver as i mentioned so that you don't have to add your own source of beef so you would look out for this how it says plus beef liver Always check the bag, always look at the bag. There's the recipes right there. You can look at pictures on the listing and the website is very clear as well. Then there's whey protein isolate. So it's derived from milk, but it's not milk itself. It's just the protein that comes from the milk and that provides small amount of minerals. And then there's taurine, duh, we all know what taurine is. Dried krill powder. So the krill powder is for the omega fatty acids and it also contains all essential amino acids. Then there's calcium carbonate and vitamin E, magnesium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. So it's just the little nutrients that are missing from the boneless meat. I would say that this is still a good on your way to homemade. Like this is the easiest that you're gonna come by because it's just one ingredient, basically boneless meat, water, and then this. But if you, I would say ideally you would use the original premix and add your own source of fresh liver. But if you can't do that, this is still a great option because they're using dried beef liver, so there's still liver in it. Fresh is best, absolutely, but on your way to preparing a 100% whole food, <laughs> homemade food, you know, it might be a little daunting if you're new to it. So this is a great way to get introduced to that homemade food because it's easier to prepare, so you'll be able to kind of like put that into your routine without being like, oh, I have to get 10 different ingredients and this and that and weigh everything. So like, this is a much easier first step to homemade for sure, because then, you know, you're not as overwhelmed, you don't have as much to plan, but you're still working in making homemade food into your schedule and weighing the portions and portioning it out. So you're still getting experience with homemade, but it's like little baby steps. Plus it'll be easier for your cat to get used to because there are the synthetic, but some whole foods, so it'll somewhat match. Maybe they're feeding like a good quality wet food or maybe even commercial raw. So it'll be a good baby step for you and your cat to get both of you used to eating and making homemade food. And some of you might be wondering like, which is better, is this better or is Alnutrin better? I mean, really both options are good, but I would say with Alnutrin, yes, it is more synthetic ingredients, but 
the meat ingredients that you're using, there's more variety of them. For example, if you're using the four meat and bone, you would use meat, bones, and organs. So there's more whole foods. This supplement has more whole foods, but the base of the recipe itself is just meat. Or if you're using the one that you would, that would require fresh liver. So really it, it, like with Alnutrin, yes, there's more synthetics, but you're using more whole meat ingredients. Whereas this supplement, there's more whole food supplements, but you're using fewer meat-based ingredients. So really it's up to you. You can check out this video right over Mia. I review Alnutrin using Viva Raw's meat bones and organs mix. And you can get all the links to this supplements in the description below. Thanks for watching.